Are you tired of battling with your blood sugar levels or worried about the risk of diabetes in yourself or your loved ones? What if I told you there is a simple powerful vitamin that could help you manage your blood sugar, prevent complications, and even safeguard your heart and kidneys? It might sound too good to be true, but trust me, it's not magic, it's science. Keep watching to learn how this one nutrient could change everything. Well, it's not fantasy, it's vitamin D. In today's video, we will dive into the science behind why this essential nutrient is a game changer for diabetes management. I will show you two groundbreaking clinical trials that prove these benefits are not just hearsay, but backed by solid evidence. Let's explore why vitamin D is truly a powerhouse in managing diabetes. Let's start with a surprising fact. Do you know that over 70% of people with diabetes are vitamin D deficient? That's right. Many diabetics are walking around without this crucial nutrient that plays a massive role in managing blood sugar and keeping your body functioning at its best. But here is the catch. Vitamin D is not just for bone health. It's a game changer for your insulin sensitivity, blood sugar control, and overall immune function. As I will show you in the course of this video, studies have shown that vitamin D can improve insulin sensitivity, meaning your body becomes more efficient at using insulin, which directly helps with lowering blood sugar. It's like giving your body a happy hand in managing glucose levels. But that's not all. Vitamin D is also crucial for reducing inflammation in the body, an issue that is common in diabetics and can lead to complications like nerve damage, heart disease, and kidney problems. And here is something shocking. Low vitamin D levels have been linked to higher hemoglobin A1C levels, a key marker of blood sugar control. Now, let's look at the studies. What if I told you that vitamin D could slash your blood sugar levels and even prevent diabetes? It might sound unbelievable, but two groundbreaking studies might just change your mind. Let's take a closer look. First up, a mental analysis by Peters and colleagues published in Annals of Internal Medicine. They combined three major clinical trials to see if vitamin D could reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes in people with prediabetes. The results were eye-opening. Vitamin D reduced the risk of developing diabetes by 15%. But well, here is the kicker. 30% more people in the vitamin D group saw their blood sugar return to normal levels compared to their placebo group. That's a game changer. But it gets even more interesting. Why 15% might not sound like much, the actual risk reduction was 3.3% over 3 years. That means... For every 30 people treated with vitamin D, one case of diabetes could be prevented. Listen to this. With over 374 million people worldwide living with prediabetes, imagine the life-changing impact of a simple, affordable solution. What if just a fraction of them took vitamin D supplements? It could potentially delay diabetes in over 10 million people. This small inexpensive nutrient holds incredible power. And here is the real bombshell. Doses over 4,000 international units daily were especially effective at reversing blood sugar levels. Why isn't vitamin D more widely recommended in diabetes prevention? Stick around, we've got more surprising findings coming up that could change everything you know about managing diabetes. In another groundbreaking randomized clinical trial study published in Frontiers in Endocrinology, 
researchers examined the impact of vitamin D on individuals with type 2 diabetes. This study followed 130 participants, all already on metformin therapy, a common diabetes treatment. But there is a twist. Half of them received high-dose vitamin D, and the other half did not. What happened next will surprise you. The participants on vitamin D, especially those who were vitamin D deficient to start with, saw their hemoglobin A1c levels improve significantly after just three months. And the benefits did not stop there. By the end of the six-month trial, insulin sensitivity improved, meaning their bodies were better able to manage blood sugar. Even more astonishing, oxidative stress markers, which are a key factor in diabetic complications like leg ulcers, kidney failure, and heart disease, were significantly reduced. But here is the interesting part. The research shows that vitamin D doesn't just improve blood sugar, it actually reduces the risk of complications like cardiovascular disease and stroke, conditions that claim millions of lives every year. So, what is the takeaways? First, randomized clinical trials used in these studies are considered the gold standard and the most robust method in clinical research, especially for evaluating the effectiveness of new treatments or interventions, so results of these studies can be trusted. Second, vitamin D could be a game changer for anyone badly diabetes, not only by preventing the disease from worsening, but also protecting against its deadly long-term effects. And could this cheap and easily available vitamin be the missing link in diabetes care? Keep watching because there is more to this mystery than meet the eye. Vitamin D deficiency A deficiency in vitamin D means that your body's beta cells which produce insulin don't function as well. That leads to higher blood sugar and over time an increased risk of complications like heart disease, stroke, and even diabetic foot ulcers. It gets worse. People with low vitamin D levels are also at risk for nerve damage, which can cause neuropathy, one of the most debilitating complications of diabetes. Not to mention vitamin D deficiency has been linked to hypertension, a major cause of heart disease and stroke. That's a lot to worry about. Oh, why are diabetic individuals prone to vitamin D deficiency? Here are some of the reasons. 1. Insulin resistance. In type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance is a major problem which impairs vitamin D activation, reducing its effectiveness. 2. Obesity. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. In type 2 diabetes, obesity is a common problem, and the excess body fat can sequester the vitamin, reducing its availability in the bloodstream. 3. Kidney disease. Now, the kidneys are responsible for converting vitamin D into its active form, called calcitriol. Kidney dysfunction in diabetics a very common condition impairs the conversion of vitamin D to its active form. 4. Medications Two major medications such as metformin and diuretics can lower vitamin D levels by affecting its metabolism. 5. Poor diets Diets such as a high-carb diet and processed foods can cause inflammation. Some studies suggest that inflammation can interfere with the vitamin D receptor, making it harder for the body to respond to vitamin D. So, how do we get vitamin D in our bodies? Well, it's easier than you think. The easiest way to get your daily dose of vitamin D is through sunlight. That's right. Just 10 to 30 minutes of sun exposure several times a week can give you a significant boost. But let's be real. 
most of us don't get enough sun, especially during the colder months, or we spend too much time indoors. You can also get vitamin D from certain foods. Fatty fish like salmon, eggs, and fortified dairy products are excellent sources. But for many, this might not be enough to reach optimal levels. That is where vitamin D supplements come in. Experts recommend taking between 1,000 to 4,000 international units per day to see the greatest benefits for diabetes control. But here is a pro tip. You want to look for a vitamin D supplement that also contains vitamin K2. Why vitamin K2? Because it helps prevent calcium buildup in the kidneys and blood vessels, something that's especially important for diabetics as they are at higher risk of kidney damage and cardiovascular disease. For more information on vitamin D-rich sources, check out my recent video shown on the screen. Taking daily vitamin D can make a real difference in your diabetes management. But remember, too much of anything can be harmful, even vitamin D. So, before starting a supplement, talk to your healthcare professional to determine the right dosage for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a vital health tip. And hey, if you are already taking vitamin D, share your experience in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Stay healthy, stay informed, and keep taking charge of your health. Until next time, take care.